What is going on guys? Today I'm here to give you a tour of this $1.5 million home in Bonita Springs, Florida. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We are a family with six children who moved from Wisconsin to follow our dreams of a life in Florida. And we make all kinds of videos about moving to Florida and all the fun things that you can do once you get here. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell so you don't miss any of our uploads or when we go live to answer your questions. Now let's take a look at this house. Sunshine, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about palm trees and making memories. I don't want to leave this sunshine state of mind. So like all my home tours, before we show you the inside of this house, Let's check out the outside. So even though this home is only one year old, it was built in a well-established neighborhood. And I think they did a great job keeping all of the mature trees here and really giving it a good curb appeal. So this house is four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and 2,500 square feet. Now one of the bathrooms and one of the bedrooms is actually located in a mother-in-law suite with a separate entrance, but we'll go through that second. The house is also waterfront on the Imperial River. Let's go check out the backyard. Well, so far, I'm extremely impressed with this home. It's built on a huge lot. There's tons of room back here, guys. Great covered patio. And the fact that it's waterfront on the Imperial River, icing on the cake. Now let's walk inside and check out the interior of this home. Oh my gosh. Look at this entrance, guys. Right away you walk in. Have a nice little sitting area here. It's even got a nice workstation. Wow, and we go right over open living room into the dining and kitchen. Clearly this is a quality home with some high-end finishes. I'm so excited to check out more of this home. And I got a little ahead of myself right away and got excited when I walked in. So let's go back to the front door. So as you walk into the front door, right directly to your right is the guest bathroom. And look at these finishes in here, guys. Love it, beautiful white finishes. It's even got a shower in the guest bathroom with a rainfall shower head. Right next to the shower, looks like we just got a good size storage closet. And as you can see, that is a rounded wall there, which means we're in for some cool architectural features in this home. So now I'm walking out of that bathroom and directly across is that workstation we talked about. This is great. The sitting area is nice. Now these floors, these look like engineered hardwood floors. Beautiful selection on the color on those. And again, the sitting area, looking out the front. What views here you get in some of these Florida homes. The greenery outside is just amazing. And again, right off of this workstation, we have the living room. Good size wall mounted TV. Now I must add, this home is not currently on the market. We're actually staying in it for an Airbnb for the weekend. But if it were on the market right now, the retail value of this at the moment is 1.5 million, like I stated in the beginning of the video. I just wanna really give you guys that are looking for homes in a specific area and specific price point about what you're gonna get at that price point. Now off this living room, we have this gorgeous view right out to the river outside with your covered patio. Next to that, your dining area, and look at this kitchen, guys. Look at the finishes in here, and everything is so high quality. We got the soft closed doors. I really love this galley style kitchen where it's tucked away from the rest of the house, but yet you're still open to everything else. This home would be perfect for entertaining. Everything in this kitchen is just high quality finishes. Right off of the kitchen, you have this awesome laundry area. And look at this. Who doesn't want a sink like this in their laundry area? This is such a cool laundry room. Now standing in the laundry room, you have the access right here to the garage. This is just a typical two stall garage here. Nothing special, not finished, anything like that. Coming out of the laundry room, we're back into the main living space. Now let's check out what is up these stairs. And this is where we saw all those cool architectural details. You can see it's got the curved wall right here going up the steps. And as soon as we get up the steps, we have French doors leading into what I assume is going to be the master bedroom.
Look at that. So right away going in the master bedroom, let's tuck ourselves away over here in the corner and just take in this view that you get out your master bedroom window. How would you like to wake up to that? Now still standing in the corner behind me here is another closet. And this is, looks like to be like a his closet. Not very big. Now let's walk into the master bath. Awesome that we got this balcony out here. We'll check that out in a second. Look at the finishes in here, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful finishes. You got a huge soaker tub there. Right off the right to the entrance, you have a separate doored bathroom there with your commode. Walking in, look at this shower. This is a huge tiled shower, rainfall shower head, glass door. Look at the stonework in there too. Same floors up here as in the rest of the house. And here is another closet. And this one, a little oddly shaped. There's no shelving in it. But again, guys, this is an Airbnb, so it's not necessarily made for functionality for everyday living. But regardless, this is a beautiful house, guys. Now let's walk back through the master here, out the French doors, and I know there's a bedroom right here to the right. Let's go check that out. There's your stairs. Through another closed door, and we have a bedroom. We got twin size bunk bed and a single bunk bed in here, so a lot of room for sleeping. TV mounted on the wall and just all these light fixtures in this house are so unique, I love it. It's not just the typical run of the mill that you'd see in most builds. Now there is a bathroom connected to this bedroom and it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. So before we check out the next bedroom, we might as well check it out through the bathroom. So let's go take a look. I just love the bright colors in this home. Look at this, we got same flooring again throughout. Here's a closet that's actually in the Jack and Jill bathroom. It's through the doorway going in. So I guess that would be the closet for this bedroom right here. And you can see the curved walls in here. It's so unique. We got this pocket sliding door going to the commode here for the Jack and Jill bathroom. Very nice quartz countertop, white cabinets, totally modern look in here. And look at here's our shower tub combo. And they got beautiful tile work in there. Great glass clear door. I love having a window in the shower too. I think that's so cool. It adds a whole lot more light. And as we exit, Oh, well, this isn't a Jack and Jill bathroom, actually. This actually goes right out into the hallway, and here is our third bedroom. So this third bedroom looks like it has a king-size bed. Again, check out the unique light fixtures in this home. Nothing the same anywhere, nothing run-of-the-mill. This seems to me like it's a custom home. Look at the view out of this bedroom into the backyard. So pretty. Now this room, although small, fits a king-size bed, and again, here's the closet for this bedroom. Not very big, but do the job in this house, right? What a beautiful house. All right guys, so I think we've seen all of the main house. I'm gonna work my way back downstairs and we're gonna go outside to the separate entrance for the mother-in-law suite where we're gonna find the fourth bedroom as well as the fourth bathroom. So here we are, the entrance to the mother-in-law suite is actually up these stairs in the rear of the home. Again, own private entrance. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Oh wow, this is not what I expected. Look at this guys. It's got its own living area, complete with a TV and a kitchenette. Now you got the refrigerator here, you've got the sink, but I don't think there's a microwave, stove, dishwasher, anything like that but you can definitely keep your food cold up here. And they did not skimp on the finishes in this mother-in-law suite either. It's got the same quartz countertop and nice white cabinets with slow closed doors. You can definitely tell that quality materials were used to build this home. And we're keeping up with the theme in here too with the very unique light fixtures. Now right off the living area in the mother-in-law suite is the bedroom, so let's check that out. This bedroom also has a king size bed, another different light fixture, and is also a pretty decent size. Over in the corner of the room opposite the door is your closet here. And this is a pretty good sized closet. It's got some built-ins, good storage there. And if I step in the closet and look back out into the room, this will give you a better perspective of the room size. Now let's check out the bathroom. Turning the corner out of the closet is your bathroom. And this bathroom is pretty standard, guys. Pretty small size, but it does have the nice finishes, a nice quartz countertop, glass shower with tile surround, great shower head too. And even this mother-in-law suite kept all the same finishes on the floor, 
on the cabinets, on the fixtures, everything. And I love the continuity throughout this entire home. Well, that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tour of this Bonita Springs home. And if you're looking for a realtor anywhere in the state of Florida, make sure to reach out to me. You can send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, or by email. All the links to those are right down in the description of this video. As always guys, I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.